Hi everyone, Tom from Print Kitchen here. Uh, we are going to look at how we use the dabbers from your Print Kit to apply ink to the polystyrene and also how to then print your design. You will need the following. Beautifully crafted polystyrene. Blank card or blank piece of paper. An ink dabber. Ink from your kit. A surface for dabbing the ink. Here we've got an old bit of uh, cereal box and a sheet of perspex. You can use an old uh, glass piece from a picture frame if you like. A wooden spoon, some rags or roll of uh, kitchen roll. If you're a parent, you're doing this with a child and your child is a bit messy, maybe two rolls of kitchen roll. And I'd also suggest you get the sink cleared and ready with the hand soap. Now let's have a look at the ink. So you're going to take your dabber, they've all got this little uh, sort of top knot on here, so you're going to hold the knot, you're going to get a little bit of ink on the dabber, and then, as the name suggests, dab, dab, dab. Now listen. Squidgy, squelchy, sticky sound, that's, that's what we're going for. You don't... You don't want to scoop, you don't want to slide it through, you don't want too much on your dabber in one go. Dab it around like that. Now once you've had a little dab, you've got a bit on the dabber, you're going to take your design and again gently dab the ink on the design. And this is when you'll see from the other videos when we talked about the compressed areas of the polystyrene, uh, you can see they're white, so you'll start to see what your design is going to look like. So go all the way over your picture. Don't rush, don't try and go too heavy. It's better to get a light layer on first and go over a second time to get the, uh, the heavier layer. If you're finding when you're dabbing the corners your, your polystyrene is jumping around too much, take a pencil, pop it in one of the, uh, the dips, the troughs, and just hold without smudging the ink like I have. Hold it down keep dabbing. So there we go, I'm quite happy with that. A few more dabs up here. Take a look, you can either go for a nice even coverage of ink, if you want a nice even picture, if you would like some lighter and darker areas in your picture, then you just simply apply more ink where you want the heavier or saturated colour and less ink where you want less. You want a, a lighter coverage. Just give it a going over to make sure you're happy with that. Now, we're going to move on to printing the picture next. What I would do is get your picture, your inked plate, your polystyrene in position, nip off and wash your hands, and then come back to the clean card and clean paper, otherwise you will get your, potentially, and highly likely, you will end up with, in this case, blue fingerprints all over your super smooth, clean work. So we're ready to print. Here I have my trusty wooden spoon. I use this to what we call burnish. You press down on your paper, your card, uh, to make the ink stick to the, the surface. It's gone very smooth, very shiny. I use this for all of my artwork. Now, you're going to take your card, remembering that it's going to open that way. So this is the face you want to print on. You've got your polystyrene ready and inked. So all we need to do is line it up. As you push it on, you want to go straight down 
give a little push with your hand, try not to put the card onto the polystyrene and move it because that's when we get smudgy business happening. And then take your spoon, backside down, scoop up, and you work it in small circles. You can use a wooden spoon, use a metal spoon. If you have no spoons at home, uh, contact me and I will send you a spoon. Remember to go right up to the edges. You can put your fingers in for scoop to apply the pressure. Use your whole hand if you would rather. This is what we call burnishing. Now, if you're not sure if you've got everywhere, keep the pressure on one side. If you do not want the paper or the card to move, lift up one edge if it will unpeel. Have a sneaky look. Yes, that seems to be going all right. Now at the top. Lift up one corner, hold your polystyrene and get a good clean lift. And you have your face from there. So we're looking forward to seeing uh, what you guys come up with. I'll share your pictures on social media, tag Print Kitchen in, and we can see what we can do with these kits.